I see a couple questions I want to ask outside of that, but we're gonna we're gonna move a little for outside of, outside of that. I want to ask a couple questions that's a little bit more deep, a little bit more fun. We gonna get I want to know where baseball took him. That's what I'm about to say. We about to, let's let's have this conversation. Let's go bring us to where because you play pro, right? Yeah. Get us to, to the point where you was about to play pro. How did that come about? And then take us over the ladder. Right. So college didn't really go that well. Um, injuries, racist coach. What did um, you injure? Uh, I had my, I had two knee surgeries. Mm. Uh, in the span of like a year, um, I had uh, orthoscopic surgery on my on my cartilage, mm. and then I tore my patella tendon mm. uh, in a basketball tournament over the summer. So that was a dumbass move. Yeah, dumbass move. But I think God was preparing me for something bigger. Mm-hmm. You know, um, I had to grow up in college. You know, I was in college at the time. And I needed to really mature. I needed to really learn how to stand on my own two feet, take school serious. It's crazy. I, I printed out my transcript the other day, and I, I got up to a slow start, 2.4 GPA. Mm-hmm. Graduated with with uh, a 3.0, but my last four semesters of college, it was all over a 3.5 GPA. Like, mm-hmm. dean's list, all of that. You had to go crazy. You had to go Just crazy. Just 3.0 because you, know, you fucked up the first Right, year. yeah, so... Just, just to doing my thing. Uh, my dad died my, my last year of college. Sorry, he so, so I see why God removed baseball from me a little early. Like, I need you to focus on life, son. I need you to, to really learn how to stand on your own. Cause my first year of college, I was just yo, pop send this to pop. Like, I was so reliant on him. Mm-hmm. And and as the years went by, he was so my my mom's was sick when I was a kid. Now when I'm a young adult, eighteen, nineteen, my pops is sick now. So I live. Many years of my life with one parent being sick. So with all that being said, I, I've kind of seen the, the journey of life and everything come full circle and start to understand that, okay, like, this is what God wanted for me. Like, he wanted me to focus. So thankfully, I kept playing. I kept, I met the right people. I kept pushing. And my man was like, yo, I played baseball overseas. I was here. I was there. So he had me look into that. And that's how I ended up in Austria. You know what I'm saying? So I was in Austria right next to Germany. I played 2018. We won a championship in 2019. You know what I'm saying? I hit four, I hit 450 my first year. I hit 417 my second year. Um, That's clean. I hit 15. Yeah, I don't know nothing about baseball. Yeah, that's clean. Um, (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, that's clean. So, you know, um, I had 15, I had 11 home runs in the regular season, four home runs in the playoffs. I had 370 in the playoffs. Mm-hmm. You know, so I was just out there locked in, turned up. You was going crazy. Great experience, bro. So, so when you played pro, you played pro out there or? I, I hit out there. All right. How many years did you stay out there? Two years, 2018, 2019. And then COVID happened. What was the mm-hmm. bitches like, bro? What was oh, the amazing, like? bro. A vibe. A vibe. Like, the women out there. We need that story from you, though. Like, we need that story. We need that, that, that you experience. You know what we get into, man. You know what we get into, baby. Nah, this is good. This is good. So, so that we need that story where you was out there. You ain't expect it to happen. You know right. what I mean? You was walking. That moment. That, she don't right. understand she your don't language. Understand you don't understand. Right, right. Uh, and, and a passion happened. So, most of... Louis. <laughs> all right, so... Most of the most of the educa- 